why we're here, paradise, manipulation, they will think to change times and seasons. This begs the question, who, will think to change times and seasons? After years of observation in seemingly unrelated areas, the answer as to whom, and even how, why, and when has been discovered. This is not just another take on the Illuminati agenda. Prepare yourself, the conclusions herein are troubling. Once we absorb this information, another question will present itself, what to do about the Illuminati cabal, the Luciferian mind, and its agenda of manipulation. The answer will become self-evident. The Illuminati is mindful of its final moments to realize its goal. That goal is total control of our eternal wisdom state through a new world order, a new age of reason, designed to manifest itself through the three-dimensional experience we call life. The new world order has long been established, but a subliminal hex must be cast over humanity, convincing us once and for all the 3D scenario is legit, that the three-dimensional life experience is actually real. This Luciferian mindset is convinced of success. However, it has failed. We now know what the scenario really consists of, how it was perpetuated using the illusory manifestation known as humanity, and most importantly, how to end the illusion. The Luciferian Agrigar group of thinkers manipulate the Illuminati pyramid through a process of hypnotic mind control, known as Kabbalism. This pyramid is in a deep trance state and is composed of the elite royal bloodlines that control world affairs. Institutions such as the Vatican, the Monarchy, the United Nations, NATO, the World Bank, the World Health Organization, the Club of Rome, the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, the International Monetary Fund, the Red Cross, the Red Crescent, the U.S. Federal Reserve, United Way, Habitat for Humanity, World Wildlife Federation, Greenpeace, the Salvation Army, Red Shield Rothschild, the Watchtower Society, Jehovah's Witnesses, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Roman Catholic Church, Protestant and Evangelical Christian Organizations, the World Zionist Movement, the Media, the Movie Industry, the Recording Industry, the Corporation of the United States of America. You name it, they own it and manipulate it in one way or another. Their agenda is saturated with deceit and corruption. The world is deceived by their manipulation, thereby generating fear and hypnosis, in much the same manner as they, themselves, have been manipulated into being pawns for the Luciferian mindset. The Luciferian, Illuminati mindset feeds insatiably on this fear. However, all the organizations and world systems are only the tip of the iceberg, and are a decoy to throw everyone off the trail of what is really happening, and what will happen over the next few years, and most importantly, who and what is at the top of the pyramid and beyond. This side will explain and show in great detail, the Luciferian God that conjured up the whole illusory experience known as the three-dimensional world. Signs of Things to Come This dialogue won't be at all scientific. In fact what is put forward will actually show what a sham science is. Examples of sound-slash-word-slash-shape association will be given many times in the pages that follow. Homonyms, and letter. Word shapes have particular significance to the Luciferian thinkers of the world. Sounds, shapes and color, and the endless combinations of these, are the arsenal of the ancient, magic-based religions. Neurolinguistic programming, subliminal messaging, symbolism, reverse symbolism, reverse speech patterns, and the like, have been used to implant the Luciferian agenda into the world system. This is their weapon and tool and the agenda will be exposed in the pages ahead. Here is one such example. Science can be looked upon as seance. Seance is communication with the dead spirit or occult mind, hidden mind with a particular purpose. The source of science, religion, and magic are one and the same, the Luciferian mind. The chart below is a symbolic illustration representing a beam of light. It has no scientific value whatsoever, as there is no element with three electrons, one proton and one neutron. However, it is the most powerful symbol in the world, for every symbol, element, and physical 3D representation, including the illusory concepts of the soul and spirit, are found within this diagram. A beam of light passing through a prism creates a rainbow of color. When this rainbow is placed on a two-dimensional plane, and in the shape of a color wheel, the color wheel is basically a round rainbow, three primary colors are revealed. Note that the red, 
yellow and blue appear at 120 degree intervals on the color wheel. 120 degrees is 10 by 12. These two tables of multiples, 10x and 12x comprise the two major systems used to create religion, science and magic. These two tables are found symbolically in the Hebrew temple, as shown on pages 16 and 17. The occult mind, or the mind that chooses to remain hidden and in secret, must keep the relationship regarding the 120 degree interval intact as it establishes its scenario, or lays its foundation. However, once established it will distort to achieve its goals, and at the same time avoid detection. Without this original foundation to establish the illusory deception, the number system needed to manipulate humanity would collapse, and would have no validity whatsoever. In other words, we would be immune to hidden occult trickery. The 120 degree intervals on the color wheel are the basis for geometric, mathematical, astrological, numerological and chemical formulae that are the foundation of the three-dimensional experience. The deliberate Luciferian system of corruption and deceit. The three, 120 degree intervals, total 360 degrees. Each degree is supposed to represent a day. After 360 days the earth is supposed to have traveled around the sun. This 360 degree circuit around the sun is the source of the 360 degree circle that religion and science is based on. In actuality, the earth takes 365 and one fourth days and a couple of minutes and a few seconds to go around the sun. This clumsy number, which actually has an infinite decimal, would never allow any precise formulae be concocted. Therefore, the circuit around the sun is rounded down on the zodiac circle, light beam chart, to 360 degrees, days. When applied to mathematical equations, natural pi is rounded down to 3 or 3.14. The golden ratio, or golden mean, is rounded down to 1.61. This is deliberately done so the natural course of creation, created by the Luciferian group mind, would conflict with the unnatural systems of the physical world. The Luciferian mind is the creator of the world we see, and is the same mind that conspires the world systems to conflict with the natural creation. Therefore everything corrupts or is corrupted. Everything exists beneath the dome of duality and the illusory death experience. The chart immediately below offers insight into the mind of Lucifer. This group of entities, the mind of Lucifer, plays the dual role of supreme god and devil. This is the duality evident in creation, however, the duality does not have a good and righteous god. There is one delusional thought form behind everything, that is the Luciferian egregore group mindset. Humanity is not corrupt, not sinful, not going to hell, for hell doesn't exist. We don't really experience death. This thing called death is only part of the hypnotic trance. We're convinced we're dying because the physical body appears to separate from what appears to be our spirit. Contrary to dying, we are returning to our original state of wisdom, free of 3D interference to deceive any further. In death we actually reclaim our eternal state of wisdom. The big deception in all this is that our physical body is an illusion. This includes the mind, the spirit, and the illusory soul. The physical body, made of atoms, has no physical mass at all. The atoms whirl about at incredible speed, creating the illusion of mass. It wasn't until the Luciferian mind, the Kabbalistic group of light-bringing entities, decided to create this three-dimensional illusion, that atoms even existed. Atoms form the first human atom, hence the name and play on words. Of course, the first atom created was actually Adam and Eve, who were created for breeding purposes, or the regeneration process. See the home page of this site. Atoms are the result of divided light, literally ripping apart the truth and dropping the illusion of matter through the orbiting characteristic of the electron to create a magnetic attraction with the proton, which initiated the sex act. This illusion of matter is the subliminal message of the master hypnotist that makes us believe the 3D illusion. This 3D illusion isn't real, nor is matter, nor energy associated with matter. We are led to believe that we are simply energy, and energy can't be destroyed. However, energy can be eliminated, because energy is an illusion, a fabricated lie. Energy, creating the illusion of matter, is an illusion of scientific magical thought, and is already finite, or limited. This energy with the illusion of matter in the atom has no relevance to the eternal state of ecstasy, called wisdom. Matter does not exist in the eternal wisdom state. 
There is no divided light, no shape, no color and no sound. All these 3D manifestations are bits and pieces of illusory deception, attempting to simulate something of value. Matter is simply light, manipulated to form an atom and the appearance of everything three-dimensional. The light originated from a thought. Read page 41. These thoughts, these atoms, are lies. When we look at shape, sound and color as being of value, we are selling ourselves short. We are robbed blind. When we look past the measure of pleasure of the 3D illusion, the ultimate expression of wisdom, ecstasy, worth and strength is recognized as being ours. Physical pleasures are just that, pleasurable. However, to reconnect to our original wisdom state, by realizing what's transpiring within this three-dimensional experience, reclaims the incredible freedom and liberty of the eternal wisdom paradise state, and the 3D physical pleasures are even more pleasurable because of this awareness. The increased pleasure is experienced because of the realization that sin, death, hell, and all the forbidding of the Luciferian mind, is a lie. Without any forbidden fruit to play the guilt card, an effortless existence of simply observing, watching and waiting, and knowing all things, becomes ours once again. This is our original state of existence, to know all things and to be free and liberated. This has nothing to do with whether our physical bodies are free and liberated, it has to do with becoming free and liberated from the hypnotic manipulation of our minds. Hypnotic manipulation of our minds is when we actually believe our mind is our mind. What we believe to be our mind and our thoughts, is actually the Luciferian conjured up illusion of our mind. This is their mind and their thoughts we experience in this three-dimensional plane. For this reason we must always watch and wait. Don't react to anything in any way, for this is all Luciferian-based emotional manipulation. Emotionally detach from placing value on the things that the Luciferian mindset suggests are of value in this 3D experience. In this way we reclaim the power of our original state and once again reconnect with paradise, right now.